Didn't see you there. Welcome back to my channel. You must be wondering, who am I? And why are we wearing these tacky sunglasses? Well, you see, today's look is going to be based off of the album Supermodel by Foster the People. And today's guest is my sister, Jackie, who was the artist that inspired the last two videos that I did on Tom and also on myself. So if you haven't seen those videos, definitely go check it out. My sister is a really talented artist and today she gets to be my canvas. Uh, we worked together to build this interesting character which will be pulling direct inspiration from the album cover of Supermodel by Foster the People. And I'm really excited because I'm gonna be using brand new body bait body paint that I bought from Graftopia. So, all the products that I use today, I will list below in the description, and we're gonna see how this goes. I'm really excited. I'm excited too. You set? I was born ready. Let's do this. So first I took a beauty blender and I applied Tropic Teal Body Paint by Graftobian all over Jackie's face, neck, and ears. This is a water activated paint as are all of the paints that I'll be using in this video. I find that applying such a large base with a beauty blender is the easiest and quickest way to get a nice even base. I then took the Made You Look Angled brush and filled in Jackie's eyebrows with a purple water activated paint. We're going for a very cartoonish color pop kind of vibe in this look. I then took Gilded Gold water activated paint by Graftobian and filled in her lid putting clockwork copper body paint in the crease for a kind of metallic smoky eye. Next, I filled in Jackie's lips with that same purple water activated body paint using the Made You Look Detail and Angled brush to overline and to fill them in. So I wanted to put these little pearls on Jackie's head to symbolize the flash bulbs from the cameras in the album cover. To do that, I took a little Q-tip with makeup remover and removed the spots where I put down Prosaid. Prosaid is personally my favorite adhesive, um, but you need a nice clear base with no makeup on it for it to work. You can also use eyelash glue or spirit gum. This I feel like is the easiest and it's the most effective adhesive and you know that it's ready to use after you put two thin layers down and it dries clear. I then started putting down these pastel colored pearls that I bought from Michaels on Jackie's forehead. It just came in a, a big tube container. They're supposed to be beads for jewelry, but I just decided to use them on my sister's head. Here she kind of looks like an Ursula-esque villain of the sea moment, but I promise it comes together later. Next, in order to add dimension back to the flat blue face that we have, I took the Made You Look Fluffy brush and contoured Jackie's face, jaw, and neck with a dark blue eyeshadow. I then went back in with the Made You Look Fluffy brush for a little bit more definition. I then took the gold shade from the Kiko Smart Cult eyeshadow palette and used that as our highlight shade. I then took the Made You Look Detail brush and added in little streaks of white body paint to symbolize the flashing of the light from the bulbs of the cameras. I then took that same brush to put little yellow polka dots on Jackie's purple lips to add a little bit more color and interesting features and took a tear-shaped brush to put these little petals underneath Jackie's eyes. This was a pretty conceptual interpretation of the album cover, and we tried to incorporate as many different aspects of it as we could. I then proceeded to take that same yellow, Canary Yellow by Graftobian, to outline the contoured features of Jackie's neck. Those contoured features are again with that same dark blue eyeshadow. And then I also applied it to her ears for that color pop cartoony look. 
I then took that yellow, purple, and white body paint to add little curly cues to Jackie's side of her face. Jackie has naturally curly hair, so this worked relatively well with her and also with our interpretation of the album cover. I really enjoyed the yellow that we used because it's a really nice buttery yellow and it isn't flat like some others can often be. Add as many of these little curly cues as you want or as few. I then took those same colors, yellow, purple, white, and teal, and added that to Jackie's hair as little highlights to tie the entire look together. Water activated paints are safe to put in your hair, I just don't recommend it if you're a dyed blonde, otherwise they come right out in the shower. Our second to last step is just lining everything with eyeliner. I use the Artists of Makeup Extreme Eyeliner Pen, which I've really come to enjoy as my new eyeliner, both for beauty and for special effects and body paint makeup. Outlining all of those features and putting in a winged eyeliner is really going to make all of our different components pop on the model's face. I then added some lines to our curly cues, not just as an outline, but again, you can do this to your discretion. This can be as simple or as complicated as you like. I added those same outlines to the flash bulbs and took a black eyeliner pen and just outline her underwater line. And here's the final look based off of the album Supermodel by Boss of the People. Jackie, thank you for being my wonderful model today. Thank you for being my wonderful makeup artist. Aw, you're so sweet. A lot of people to thank for this video. Thank you to my producer, editor, cameraman, Schutz. Thank you to my beautiful patient model, Jackie. Thank you to our wonderful moral support, Tom! Love you, Tom. Um, and thank you to everyone who's watching this video. If you're watching this, thank you very much. Um, hope to see you around the next time. Uh, we gotta do we gotta do supermodel things now. So peace. <laughs>